Hello and welcome to this DELSYS tutorial on how to perform an amplitude analysis on your EMG data. This tutorial will cover when and why to use an amplitude analysis, the preparatory steps to acquire the data, and then how to analyze the data with an EMG Works analysis. To start, it is always important to know when and why to use a specific analysis technique. Amplitude analysis is a commonly used tool within many applications for comparing muscular activation levels between subjects, between muscles, or for assessing the efficacy of an intervention. However, direct comparisons of the EMG amplitudes can sometimes be difficult due to many intrinsic and extrinsic factors. For a comparison to be made between subjects, muscles, or intervention states, normalization of the data must occur. Normalizing the data helps to reduce the variance and allows for comparisons of the EMG amplitudes. Although there are various other methods for normalizing an EMG signal, a common approach is to use a maximal voluntary contraction or an MVC for short. After collecting your MVC trial, the subsequent data series can then be normalized against the maximal root mean square value from the MVC recording. The EMG data will then be displayed as a percentage of the MVC value so comparisons can be made. Having gone through when and why to perform an amplitude analysis, it is now time to record some data. The recorded data can then be used for the analysis. To start the data collection session, an MVC value will need to be obtained from the muscle of interest. In many cases, a limb's motion can be restrained to produce a maximal contractile force. This data should be saved as the MVC recording. All of the trial data can then be recorded and later normalized to the MVC trial. The data is now ready to be added into EMG Works analysis to perform the amplitude analysis. To begin your analysis session, open EMG Works analysis from the desktop. Create a new workspace to save your amplitude analysis calculations and data. With the workspace created, add the MVC trial and subsequent trials you would like to normalize into the data window. From the data window, left-click to select the trial you wish to normalize. Multiple trials can be selected by holding Control and left-clicking on additional trials. Make sure that all data series selected are of the same muscle as the MVC recording. Right-click on the selected trial and navigate to Calculation Scripts, selecting Amplitude Analysis from the available options. A parameter window will appear. The Amplitude Analysis script will perform an RMS computation on the input data and normalize it against the peak RMS value of the MVC trial. Select the Normalize Data option and select the Normalizing Series as the previously recorded MVC trial. Select OK, and the calculation will run in the background, appearing in the data window when finished. The MVC normalized data can be plotted by selecting the data series and right-clicking to choose the appropriate plot setting. The data will now be displayed as a percentage of the peak RMS value from the MVC trial. With the data normalized against an MVC recording, it is now possible to compare amplitudes between muscles, between subjects, or between different conditions of an intervention. In this example, we will compare amplitudes of the same muscle between conditions. The conditions will be pre- and post-fatigue. The data from the tibialis anterior was normalized against the same MVC trial for both sets of data. The relative amplitudes can be plotted for comparison using the Plot Overlaid option. During the fatigued state, it can be seen during some strides that the relative amplitude of the tibialis anterior increases by around 20% compared with the unfatigued state. This indicates that because of the effect of fatigue, the muscle is having to try much harder to meet the demands of the task. 
The data can also then be exported for further analysis. For more information and assistance, please visit delsys.com support and be sure to connect with us on our socials.